So I'm here with Nick from Sky Cameron. We've just been through a custom putter fitting. Um, so we just want to talk a bit about why you think like the putter fitting is so important and what you look for when you're going through a putter fitting. One big thing we start before anything else is the one thing why you're here is, is what's going on within your strokes, whether it's a tendency you're having or you're missing on one side. It's you know, When people come for putter fittings, they're more looking for what they need. They want to find something new to kind of give a bit more confidence. And from the first element of a fit is what I get to do any player to have a look at the different styles that we designed from the new Phantom X to select that I could have a great idea of what maybe is going to work for you. But if you hate the looks of it, then that's going to be a massive cross. So visuals, confidence is always a big part of it. It's like what we're, we're going to do, you know, it's the whole three or four different models to see what kind of works and what you like the visual of. From a kind of technique point, all we kind of ever use is video. We kind of look at video because it's instant feedback and we can kind of show the golf what's going on. So the first thing we we'll always kind of look at and talk about in a putter is the path. So there's that misconception that a lot of people think that the putter goes straight back and straight through doesn't quite work like that so the design of the putter is actually meant to work on a natural arc so the big thing that sets that is the player's eye line so we're looking at a position of where's that eye line sat that's going to give the player the arc and the length of the putter dictates that a lot so we're looking at a length that's going to get your eye line in position where your eyes are kind of one to two inches left of the golf ball i like to think about it in the heel of the putter what that's going to allow is the player to have the most consistent arc in the stroke and this is where the big thing talks about toe flow and face balance and what that's designed is and we'll talk about it a little bit more but the whole idea behind face balance and toe hang is something that's going to complement your stroke. So it's going to work with the flow and the design of your stroke. A big thing from once we've got the length and the kind of toe flow design, it's then a lot again personal preference. What do you like the I like the looks of? That's why we make so many different variations. You know, sometimes it can take 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it can take 40 minutes an hour. So it depends on that player what they want to get out of it. So there's a couple of different things that we look at. So you want to talk a bit through like my custom fitting and why you fitted me into what I ended up in? A big part of it was obviously you have a you have 6M the future from the previous model a mallet putter and you had a new putt too and you kind of described to me that you prefer that kind of stability design that that head that's going to aid you a little bit more of alignment so we looked at a number of different ranges from the select range the fastback head that you kind of like the mallet design of that and then we took a few different the phantoms out there and the one that was kind of giving you from a, an alignment aid that was giving you the most help was the number 12. When we start the, the initial kind of element of the fit from the length and the kind of arc side like I say everyone's gonna have a little bit of arc and we kind of show, showed that on the video. From a length perspective we're probably going to be looking at a 32 and a half inch putter that's you know we tried a 33 eye line was a little bit too far inside so that 32 and a half is really going to get you in that position where that eye line sits really good position it's going to give you that arc and then from there we don't need masses of toe flow in your, in your stroke because you haven't got so much arc within that so some of the little bit more face balance is just going to aid that kind of flow within the stroke what we had in the x12 head is the ability of the alignment from the the yellow lines kind of coming from the face of the putter all the way back the top line and just then added wings at the back to basically it's very similar to like a driver the more weight we can get further from the face the more stable the higher moi we have in the head that's just going to give you more stability in the stroke so you mentioned there the difference between face balance and toe hang can we go a bit yeah. more into that and how that would help the everyday golfer this is a like i say a big thing kind of to complement the player's stroke so you can see here i've got two of the new phantom seven putters we've got the seven and the 7.5 so you can see there from a visual aspect the heads are pretty much exactly the same a lot of people almost think you get more toe hang because there's more weight in the toe which kind of makes sense but it's not quite the way so how we get differences in toe flow in the design of the heads is basically in the shaft orientation so you can see in the number seven here i've got a quite a high single bend shaft okay if i was to draw or carry on an imaginary line that was kind of going on the nearer that is to the center of the head the more face balanced we have so you can see it there but you can still see with that one we've got a little little bit of toe hang on there in the 0.5 model you can see the differences in the neck right it's a lot uh, nearer to the face so we can see it's a little bit more down so the more that goes into the heel the more toe flow we have in the stroke so the reasons why we need toe flow is because every putter is going to have an element of arc so we need the flow to match up with the stroke the toe flow is there to complement the player's stroke i think a lot of things as well from a mallet perspective is that people see mallets and they presume straight away that it's a face balanced head and for example on the select models they're the toe flow it's it's not at all it's all in the design of the shaft and that's a big thing especially in phantom x is why we're doing so many variations from high bend to straight shaft to a single low bend that higher MOI that alignment aid with a bit more toe flow will suit players whereas some players will just want more of that kind of face balance style and the new range we've seen a new grip come into the putters do yeah. you want to talk about 
why that came around. Yeah, so basically came along, Scotty actually um, was putting some photos up for his daughter and realised he didn't have a hammer, so he drove over to Home Depot. As he went to go and pick the hammer out of the bottom shelf, he picked up with his left hand and kind of took his golf grip and was like, wow, this feels really cool. He decided to go back to the studio, went to our R&D guys and said, I love the style of that grip, can we, can we make that? And that's where the Pistolero grip came from. The cool thing we've got in this grip here is that it's basically two layers of tape under the right hand, so it's the same thickness throughout the grip. We don't have a slightly thinner grip under the right hand. But people People can also choose to customise the grip so they can use grips from different ranges if it suits them. But. Exactly, yeah. So the, the grip is very, very personal, again, like the head model. Within a range from a custom side, if you have a fit with myself or your local pro, is it if there's a certain specific Scotty Cameron grip that you like, so you might be the fact that you like the number seven Phantom, you've had a Matador grip on your select putter, you can put that there at no extra cost. Thanks for that, Nick, and thanks to Leeds Golf Centre for hosting us today. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe.